Security Council is more than just frustrating, it is deplorable. The case must be made to Russia and China that supporting or aiding Assad not only harms Syria, but harms their own interests and indeed standing within the wider region. So While I welcome the tone of the Foreign Secretary's speech and the specific measures that he has announced, I regret to say that I cannot see how any of them will have any serious prospect of reducing the length of this conflict and preventing the massacre of tens of thousands of more Syrians. Will the Foreign Secretary accept that until such time as the Syrian opposition have the military equipment that will enable them to defeat the Assad regime and thereby bring the c conflict to an end earlier than would otherwise be the case. We will see a continuation of tens of thousands of people being killed and the extremists in the opposition uh, will benefit from that delay. Uh, may I strongly reject the neocon policies and ideas emanating from our right honourable friend for Kensington? What could be gained by our sending arms into this cauldron? Have we forgotten the disastrous policy of arming the rebels in, in Afghanistan? Have we forgotten the appalling atrocities being committed now by jihadis against Christians in Syria? What's wrong with basing our policy on life and not death? Um, well, my old friend can be reassured that I've, I've never considered myself a neocon and um, don't use that, um, don't describe myself as that as foreign secretary. With a million fled and as many